Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday. Starting a little slow this morning, but it looks like we're starting to stir things up here in the uh, plate tectonic world. 6.8 earthquake uh, being reported right now here on this Monday afternoon, September 8th, 2025, around the Vanuatu area. Pretty shallow earthquake. Now, of course, I've been talking about here in my previous updates how much deep earthquake activity we've been seeing out here a lot in the last seven days. Um, that is associated with the Tonga Trench. This 6.8 earthquake there across the area where the strain is building. Uh, that's a, a decent sized earthquake. Let's see what we got for any tsunami statement real quick. Uh, there is no tsunami warning advisory watch or threat in effect from this earthquake uh, right now. Uh, this area can get some bigger ones than that though, but uh, that's a decent sized earthquake. Showing up there on the New Zealand station it looks like. Um, don't really have any seismograph stations specifically in that area, but uh, I'm sure it uh, is coming in quite nicely on the uh, local ones there. So, uh, once again, 6.8 earthquake due west here where all that uh, deeper uh, earthquake activity has been stirring up. Just show you guys here real quick the uh, general plate stress movement. Let me see if I can find it. For some reason my... Uh, my images here are off. I don't know where it went. Huh, okay. Anyway, the general plate stress out here uh, puts the Pacific plate movement to the west northwest. So when we get deeper activity here into that major subduction zone, the Tonga Trench, that uh, normally applies stressor stress out here across this area of the plate boundary. And it looks like it's just literally right there across that region. Now this area back over here across Vanuatu, that subduction zone, I uh, can see earthquakes in excess of the 7.0 range, so we'll just keep an eye on that. It's been relatively quiet out here between the deeper activity uh, east and then the movement, lack of movement, I would say, around Papua New Guinea area. So it's putting this region in a prime spot for big earthquake activity. Of course, showing up there on the globe as well. Little bit of issue there with the data coming in. It looks like USGS reporting a 6.8. EMSC reporting that as a 6.2 so there was not two quakes that's just a little bit of a um, data activity there that's coming in that's not quite in agreement with each other yet uh, but I'm sure the 6.8 will stir up the seismograph stations here in terms of S waves across uh, we'll probably see it show up here across the majority of them um, we'll continue to watch this for now no tsunami statement uh, and that, of course, is the biggest earthquake, I would say, here in, uh, let's see, is it our, no, we had that 7.5 down there in the Drake's Passage area in the last 30 days. Uh, but technically, that would be the second largest earthquake here in the last 30 days. We'll take a look at the uh, year in review so far, as far as the earthquake uh, tally, as we uh, I'll start that uh, later tonight, Monday, Monday night, we'll go ahead and Oh, I thought you... All right, I'm out of here. Uh, we'll catch you guys a little bit later on this evening.